I'm a total Sonic the Hedgehog fan, much like everyone else. I like the newer games, but I don't mind playing the classics. I don't think I've ever played glitchy or hacked games before, although I don't think I don't want to play any after the experience I had. It started on a nice summer afternoon. I was playing Sonic Unleashed. I like how you get to explore the towns in it. Until I noticed, out of my peripheral vision, that the mailman had arrived and put something in my mailbox as usual and left. I paused my game to go see what I got in the mail. The only thing in the mailbox was a CD case for computers and a note. I took it inside. I looked at the note first and realized it was my for my dear friend Kyle. Let's just call him whom I hadn't heard from in two weeks. I know that because I recognize his handwriting, though what was weird is how it looked. It looked badly written and scratchy and somewhat difficult to read, as if Carl was having a hard time writing it down and did it in a hurry. This is what he wrote. Tom, I can't take it anymore. I had to get rid of this thing somehow before it was too late, and I was hoping you'd do it for me. I can't do it. He's after me. If you, And if you don't destroy the CD, he'll come after you too. He's too fast for me. Please, Tom, destroy this godforsaken disc before he comes after you too. It's too late for me. Destroy the disc, and you'll destroy him. But do it quick, otherwise he'll catch you. Don't even play the game. It's what he wants. Just destroy it. Please. Kyle. Well, that was certainly weird. Even though Kyle is my best friend, and I haven't seen him in two weeks, I didn't do what he asked me. I didn't think that a simple gaming disc would do anything bad to him. After all, it's just a game, right? Boy, was I wrong about that. Anyway, I looked at the disc, and it looks like any ordinary computer CDR disc, except it had a black marker on it written, Sonic.exe. And it was much unlike Kyle's handwriting, meaning that he must have gotten it from someone else, like a pawn shop or eBay. But when I saw Sonic on the writing of the CD, I was actually excited and wanted to play it, since I'm a big Sonic fan. I went up to my room and turned on my computer and put the disc in and installed the game. When the title screen popped up, I noticed it was the first Sonic game. I was like, awesome! But like I said earlier, I like the classics. The first thing I noticed it was out of place, but when I pressed start, there was a split second when I saw the title image turn into something much different. Something that I now consider horrifying before cutting to black. I remember what the image looked like in that split second before the game cut to black. The sky had darkened, the title emblem was rusted and ruined, the Sega 1991 was now instead Sega 666, and the water had turned red, like blood, except it looked hyper-realistic. But the freakiest thing was that in the split second frame was Sonic. His eyes were pitch black and bleeding, with two glowing red dots staring right at me, and his smile had stretched wider up to the edge of his face. I was rather disturbed about that image when I saw it, though I figured that it was just a glitch and forgot about it. After it cut to black, it stayed like that for about 10 seconds or so. Then another weird thing happened. The save file select from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 popped up, and I was like, what the frick? What's this doing in the first Sonic game? Anyway, then I noticed something off. The background was the dark cloudy sky of the Bad Stardust Speedway level from Sonic CD, and there were only three save files. The music was that creepy Caverns of Winter music from Earthbound, only it was extended and seemed to have been in reverse. And the image for the save file, where you see a preview of the level, you're on. It's just red static for all three files. What freaked me out more was the character select. It showed only Tails, Knuckles, and to my surprise, Dr. Robotnik. Now I was sure that something was up. I mean, how can you play as Robotnik in a classic Sonic game for crying out loud? That's when I realized this wasn't a glitchy game, it was a hacked game. Yeah, it definitely looked hacked. It was really creepy, but as a smart gamer, I wasn't scared, or at least I tried not to be. I told myself that it was just a hacked game, and there was nothing wrong with that. Anyways, shaking off the creeped out feeling, I picked file 1 and chose Tails. And when I selected and got started, the game froze for about 5 seconds, and I heard a creepy pixelated laugh that sounded an awful lot like that Kefka guy from Final Fantasy before cutting to black. The screen stayed black for about 10 seconds or more, then it showed the typical level title thing, except the simplistic shapes were different shades of red, and the text showed only Hill Act 1. The screen faded in and the level title vanished, revealing tales in the green hill zone from Sonic 1. The music was different though. It sounded like a peaceful melody in reverse. Anyway, I started playing and had Tails start running like you would in any other classic Sonic games. What was odd was that as Tails was running along the level, there was nothing but flat ground and a few trees for 5 minutes. That's when the peaceful music started to lower down into slow, deep tones, very slowly as I kept going. I suddenly saw something, and I stopped to see what it was. 
It was one of the small animals lying down on the ground, bleeding. That's when the music started to slow down. Tails had a shocked and saddened look on his face that I never saw him have before, so I had him move along and he kept that worried look on his face. As he kept moving, I saw more dead animals as Tails moved past them, looking more and more worried as the music lowers. As he moves past more dead animals, I was shocked to see how they all died. They all looked like somebody they got killed in rather gruesome ways. A squirrel was hanging on a tree with what appeared to have his entrails hanging out, a bunny had all four of his limbs torn off, and a duck had his eyes gouged and his throat slit. I felt sick to my stomach when I saw this massacre, and apparently so did Tails. After a few more seconds, there was no more animals, and the music seemed to have stopped. I still kept Tails to continue. A minute had passed after the music stopped. Tails was running up a hill, and then he stopped. It wasn't until I saw why. Sonic was there on the other side of the screen with his back against Tails with his eyes closed. Tails looked happy to see Sonic, but then his smile faltered, obviously noticing that Sonic wasn't responding to him, if not acting as if he was totally oblivious of Tails' presence. Tails walked slowly towards Sonic, and I noticed that I wasn't even moving my keyboard to make him move, so this had to be a bit of a cutscene. Suddenly, I began to have a growing feel of dread as Tails walked closer to Sonic to get his attention. I felt that Tails was in danger and something bad was going to happen. I heard faint static growing louder as Tails was but inches away from Sonic and stopped and stuck his hand out to touch him. That foreboding feeling in my gut was growing stronger and I felt the urge to tell Tails to get away from Sonic as the static grew louder. Suddenly, in a split second, I saw Sonic's eyes open and they were that black with the red glowing dots, just like that title image. Thought there wasn't a smile. When that happened, the screen turned black and the static sound was off. It stayed black for about 7 seconds, and then white text appeared forming a message saying, Hello, do you want to play with me? At this point, I was creeped out. I didn't want to continue with the game, but my curiosity got the better of me when I was taken to a different level, with a level title now saying, Hide and Seek. This time I was in the Angel Island level from Sonic 3, and it looked like everything was on fire. Tails looked as though he was scared out of his wits this time. He actually looked at me and made frantic gestures to me as if he wanted to get out of the area he was in as fast as possible. I was starting to get freaked out by this. I mean, Tails was actually breaking the fourth wall, trying to tell me to get him out of there. So I pressed down the arrow key as hard as I could and made him run as fast as he could. A pixelated version of that creepy theme when you meet Shadow at the ARK as Robotnik from SA2 was playing as I made Tails trek through the desolate forest trying to help him escape from whatever he was trying to run from. Suddenly, I heard that creepy laugh again, that awful Kefka laugh. Right after 10 seconds have passed as I helped Tails run through the forest, I then started seeing flashes of Sonic popping everyone on the screen, again with those black and red eyes. The music changed to that suspenseful drowning jingle as I see Sonic behind Tails slowly gaining up on him, flying. Sonic wasn't running, he was actually flying. The flying pose his sprite was making looked very similar to Metal, to Metal Sonic's flying pose in Sonic CD. Except it was just Sonic that he ha and he had the black and red eyes again. Only this time he had the most deranged looking grin on his face as he looked as though he was enjoying the torment he was giving to the poor little fox as he gained up on him. Suddenly, when Tails tripped, another cutscene. The music stopped and Sonic vanished. Tails laid there and started crying for 15 seconds. The scene was rather upsetting to watch and I kind of teared up myself. But then Sonic appeared right in front of Tails and Tails looked up in horror. Blood started to come down those blackened eyes of Sonic as a grin slowly grew on his face as he looked down at the horrified fox. I could do nothing but watch. Just in a split second, Sonic lunged at Tails right before the screen went black and there was a loud screeching noise that lasted only 5 seconds. The text returned, only this time it said, You're too slow. Want to try again? And then that god-awful laugh came with it. I was so shocked by what had happened. Did Sonic murder Tails? No, he couldn't have. He and Tails are supposed to be best friends, right? Why did Sonic do that to him? I shook the shock off as I brought back to the character select. The save file that had Tails was different. Tails was no longer in the box itself, but in the TV screen itself, which was flickering with that red static. Tails' expression scared me. His eyes were black and bleeding. His orange fur had gone black, and he had an expression of anguish on his face. Trying to ignore it, I picked Knuckles next. The laugh came again, and the screen cut to black again, and stayed there for another 10 seconds. This time, the level said, You can't run. I was really freaked out by now. I couldn't really tell this was a glitch, or a hack, or some kind of sick, twisted joke, or anything really. But despite my fear of what happened next, I kept playing. 
The next level looked much different. It had the ground of the scrap brain zone, but the sky background looked like the main menu. It had the dark reddish cloudy sky, but it was the music that creeped me out the most. It sounded like Gygus' theme right after you beat Pokey and Earthbound. I also noticed that Knuckles looked just as afraid as Tails, though not as much, more rather he looked a little unnerved. He broke the fourth wall just like Tails and looked as if he wasn't sure about what was going on, but I made him move anyway. He ran down the straight pathway in this dark level. As he did, the screen started to flicker red static a couple times, and then that maddening laugh came again. Then, after a few seconds of running, I noticed several blood stains on the metal ground. I felt this growing sense of fear again, thinking something horrible was going to happen to Knuckles. He looked nauseated walking down this blood stained road, but I still kept him going. Suddenly, as Knuckles ran, Sonic appeared right in front of him with those black and red eyes and red static appeared again. When the static vanished, showing nothing but black screen with text saying, Found you. I was now scared. Sonic found Knuckles already? What was going on? Anyway, red static came again and I was back to the level. Knuckles looked like he was panicking and Sonic was nowhere to be found. This time, that high-pitched squealing coming from Silent Hills 1's final boss was playing. Was this some kind of boss battle with Sonic? I hope to God it wasn't, honestly. Suddenly Sonic appeared right behind Knuckles in what appeared to be pixelated black smoke. I made Sonic Knuckles turn and then punch Sonic, but Sonic vanished in black pixelated smoke before I could even land a hit. That terrible laugh went off again, and then Sonic appeared behind Knuckles again. Then I made him punch again, and Sonic vanished again, laughing. Sonic Knuckles was panishing, panicking even more, and I felt like I was going crazy. Sonic was practically playing with us. He was playing a sick, twisted little mind game with me and Knuckles. Another cutscene played as Knuckles fell to his knees and clutched his head sobbing. I felt his agony. Sonic was actually driving us both crazy. And then in a split second, Sonic lunged at Knuckles and the screen went black with another distorted screeching noise that lasted about 3 seconds. Another text message appeared. So many souls to play with, so little time. Would you agree? What the hell? Just what is going on? I started to think Sonic was actually trying to talk to me through the game, but I was too scared to think that. I was brought back to the main menu, and this time the second file box had Knuckles in the TV screen. His red fur darkened to a reddish gray, his dreadlocks were dripping with blood, and his eyes were black and bleeding too. And he had a look of sadness on his face. I began to think that those are the actual characters trapped in those TV screens and the save files, but I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. So I shut off the game and took a break. I took a nap. Wish I hadn't, because then I began having to have the most disturbing nightmare. I was in pitch black darkness. I was under the light given off by a lamp that hung high above my head. I could hear the cries of Knuckles and Tails nearby. They were saying stuff like, Help us, and why did you give us to him, and run away before he gets you too. Their cries died out, and then I heard Sonic laugh. His laugh. It sounded a lot like that distorted Kefka laugh. You're a lot of fun to play with, kid. Just like your friend Kyle, though he didn't last long. I was scared and looking around for the source of the voice. Won't be long now until you join him and all my other friends. I saw him walking toward me, flickering in and out in several directions. You can't run, kid. You're in my world now, just like the others. When he grabbed me and I saw his bleeding black and red eye grinning face, I woke up with a fright. After a couple hours, I decided to continue playing the game. I don't know why, but I had to know. I had to figure out why this was happening. So I turned on the computer, turned on the game, and selected Robotnik next. I still thought that was wacky, playing as Robotnik. But anyway, the level title appeared again, and this time it said, dot, dot, dot. Which I found really freaky. This time I was in some kind of hallway. Didn't look like it was from any of the classic Sonic games, but though it had the pixelated style, the floor was shiny and checkered, and the walls were a dark grayish purple with animated candle lights and a few dark blood stains here and there. And there was a dark red curtain hanging from above on the top part of the screen. Every 12 seconds or so, that red curtain sways very slowly, but whenever you're playing the game, you can barely see it move. The music was oddly pleasant, a piano playing a rather sad yet peaceful song, but I knew better. This was the song that played in Hill Act 1 only it wasn't in reverse. Robotnik didn't look entirely nervous like Tails and Knuckles did, but he did have a suspicious look on his face, as if he was a bit paranoid. He did a little animation when I just left him standing. He turns his head to the left and then to the right at least twice, and then shrugs at me. 
as if he has no idea where he was or what was going on. Even though I was scared out of my mind about what was going to happen, I had Robotnik continue onward. He did his usual running animation, you know, when you've beaten him at the end of a classic Sonic game and you chase him, as we continued going through the hallway. Then I stopped at a long flight of stairs leading downward. I was, I, now I was nervous. Even Robotnik seemed unsure of himself, even though I pressed onward. As I led Robotnik down the stairs, I noticed that the walls had gotten darker and more reddish. The red torches are now in an eerie blue, and the, we landed on another hallway. This one was longer than the last one, or at least it felt like it. And then we headed down another flight of stairs. Down. This one was much longer and took one full minute at least. Then I heard that horrid Kefka laugh again, and the music slowly faded until it was quiet. As did the walls turned more dark red, and the torches were a black flame now. When Robotnik landed on the third hallway, I noticed that he now looked really creeped out, though he tried to hide it. I couldn't blame him. I was scared too. Suddenly, Sonic popped right in front of Robotnik, the same way as he did Knuckles and Ren Red Static. The Red Static lasted about 15 seconds, and then it showed me a most unpleasant image. The image showed a hyper-realistic of Sonic standing in the darkness, where you can only see his face while his head and torso faded into black. And when I say hyper-realistic, I mean he looks so real you could actually see the lines in his blue fur, as if you could actually feel the fur if you touched the screen. His face. Oh god, he had the most horrifying smile I've ever seen. And that's saying something considering I saw that image at the start of the game. His eyes were wide and black, and once again crying blood, which also looked hyper-realistic. And there was two small glowing red dots in those black eyes staring RIGHT AT ME, as if staring into my mind. His grin was wide and demonic, literally stretched to the side of his face like a Cheshire cat, except Sonic had fangs. Very sharp fangs. Much like the werehog's teeth, except more vicious looking, somewhat yellowish and from the look of it. He had stains of blood and small bits of flesh on his lips and fangs as if he ate some animal. I stared at that gruesome Im image for a good 30 seconds, never taking my eyes off it. I felt that it was actually looking at me, smiling at me. That face, it just took 10 seconds for it to etch itself into my brain for good. Then the screen flickered with red static again, three times, and on the third time, I heard the Kefka laugh, except it sounded distorted, demonic even. It went back to the image again, except this time, there was the text again, though it was messed up, but it was pretty much one of the most horrifying things I looked at since I had this game. I am God. When it was when I it it was when I read that message while looking at Sonic when it hit me, I realized it there and then. This Sonic was a monster, a pure, evil, sadistic, all-powerful, nightmarish, demented monster, and all of his victims, including Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik, and possibly Kyle, are just his little toys. And the game is the very gateway into his chaotic, nightmarish world and the very hell his victims are trapped in. Suddenly, in an actual split second, I screamed as Sonic lunged at the screen, screeching loudly with his mouth wide open to an unnatural length, revealing nothing but a literally spiraling abyss of pure darkness, before the red static came again, this time much louder and distorted, so loud that it hurt my ears. I yelled and grabbed my ears as the red static screeched for a good seven seconds. Then it stopped and showed nothing but black screen. As I sat there staring at the black screen, one last text came up. Ready for round two, Tom? The Kefka laugh, now sounding more clear as if Sonic was right behind me, played again three times as I looked at the text in shock and confusion. Then I got booted back to the main menu, and this time the third save file had a TV image of Robotnik in the same tormented style as Tails and Knuckles. Robotnik's skin turned a dull grey, his moustache drooped and had blackened, his glasses broke and blood is coming from them, and he had a mere dead-like expression on his face. I looked at Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik, and I cried a bit. I pitied them for the agony they are going through, and they were forever trapped within the game, forever tormented by that horrid hedgehog, and always will be. Then the computer shut itself off. I couldn't turn it back on no matter what I did. I sat, th I sat there for maybe 25 seconds, horrified by what happened. Sonic is the very embodiment of evil. He tortures people who play his game in more ways than one, and then, when he gets bored, he drags you into the game, literally drags you to hell, where he can play with you. Always, as his toy. I can't get the game out of my computer. I think it's stuck in there, but at least I managed to turn it back on now. After I sat there for 25 seconds, I heard a voice right behind me, like a whisper. Try to keep this interesting for me, Tom. I turned around to see where the voice came from, and what I saw made me scream. Sitting on my bed, staring right at me, 
was a sonic plushie smiling with bloodstains under its eyes.